So one of the phrases you might come across in Lutheranism is a phrase called the bondage of the will. And uh, that's something that Martin Luther wrote about when it, when it talks about sin. Now, sin is, uh, like everybody, including me, you know, my least favorite thing to talk about, about religion. Nobody likes to be reminded of their faults, of their problems, of their mistakes. Nobody likes to be, you know, punished or held in judgment or blamed for those kinds of things. Um, and on the surface of it, this idea of bondage of the will is a real bummer. But hang on, because then it gets better. So the bondage of the will, the idea is that we are bound to sin. As human beings, we are bound to sin. It's a part of this idea of original sin, which, which different traditions treat differently. But the idea is that because we are human, we're flawed, we're um, faithful and flawed at the same time, our, we're just bound to trip over ourselves in sin. And if you're a human being in this world and you're listening to this, you know that's the case. We trip over ourselves. It happens because we're not perfect and we're not God. And so Luther said, instead of feeling really terrible about ourselves because of this, um, what the bondage of the will shows us is that we can't climb a ladder to God. We can't earn our way into God's love, into God's grace, into God's trust, right? We can't earn our own salvation. Luther says it is impossible for us to do. But that's really what we try to do in our lives all the time, right? Because in our lives and these relationships we have, we try to earn um, respect. We try to sometimes earn love. And Luther says, when in our relationship with God, we can't do that. We can't earn our way into heaven. We can't earn God's grace. It is all an entirely free gift. So this idea of sin, while kind of yucky at first, then opens us up to receiving the goodness and the good news that God has for us.